What's up everyone, welcome back to another video, um, so, I haven't uploaded in close to 5 months, and that's probably not good, but we're gonna be coming back with new videos starting today, so I'm hopefully gonna be consistently uploading again from now on, we're pretty close to a thousand subscribers, and we were only at like 300 or 400 when I left, so that's amazing, but for this video today we're going to be starting part one of a new series i'm doing where i'm going to be building a simulator from scratch but i'm going to be going through showing you how to do it all we're going to be building a donut simulator which i have a game like that already where actually i'm going to be making a sequel to one of my simulators in this series and i'm going to be showing step by step how i do everything for you guys so yeah just follow along and by the end of the series you'll have a fully complete simulator so first thing we need to do is make it so our players have stats to do this we're going to put a new script into service group service click the little plus icon then click script and then inside of the script just write as i write pause the video at any point in time if you need to to catch up get service data store service get data store player data then game dot players player added connect function player local leader stats this instance dot new folder inside the player leader stats dot new leader stats Local donuts instance.new in value inside of leader stats donuts dot name is equal to donuts. Also after I write the script I'm gonna go through and explain what each part does to help you understand. The local cache equals instance.new value inside of the leader stats cash dot main is equal to cash local key is equal to player dash dot dot then dot user id local save data equals ds colon get async key if save data then donuts the value will save data one cash dot value equals save data two else local data to save and data to save equals squiggly brackets and inside the squiggly brackets donuts.value and cache.value then after that write data store ds call set async key data to save then outside of this game.players added function we're going to do game.players.player removing call and connect Function player local key, or you can just copy this line up here because you want to make sure you use the same key every time. Local data to save equals player dot leader stats dot donuts dot value player dot leader stats dot cash dot value and then say ds for set async key data to save so now if we test the game in the top right we should have stats for donuts and cash then if this works 
next we're going to have to make it so you have a donut tool and when you use the donuts you gain donuts i'm going to try and make this very easy to set up but you're going to have to make sure you follow along closely because i'm going to be using module scripts so that it'll be easier to add your donuts into the game later on taking a while to load. My studio runs pretty slow whenever I'm recording. If it's ever taking a while to load, you can just try and fast forward past the part with loading. But as you can see, we now have donuts and cash up here. In the top right on our players leaderboard. So now that we have our donuts and our cash, next thing you can do is obviously make it so that you can get donuts, right? So what I'm gonna do is first off we're gonna need a donut. Um I don't have a donut mesh right now, so for now I'm just going to use a normal block, but in the next part I'll get a donut mesh set up for another game. But for you, you don't have to do donuts, you could follow this exact tutorial, but just make them bananas, oranges, swords, guns, whatever you want to make them, and it will still work. So I'm just going to set this to a square cube going to name this handle and then create a tool. I'm going to put this tool inside of starter pack. I'm going to name the tool old donut and then put the handle inside of it. So now that our handle is inside of our little donut, what we want to do is make it so when you click you actually gain your stats, obviously. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to go into server storage and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this folder donut info. And inside of this folder, I'm going to create a new module script. I'm going to call this script the name of whatever donut we're making. So, old donut. Then, so for every donut, we're going to have one of these module scripts, and it's going to contain the stats of the donut. So this one, we're going to say donuts equals one, dime equals one, price equals zero. It's free. You're going to get it at the start. And that's about all the stats you need for a donut. So after that, we're going to go into here, going to add a script. Or, yes, we're going to add a script in here. And inside of the script, what I'm going to do is say, True. 
So I forgot to get the player anyway. So we're gonna say is repeat wait until tool dot parent colon to game dot players colon get player from character tool dot parent. So this is gonna say we're gonna wait until the tool is inside of the player's character to get the player. Then we're gonna say local player equals game.players colon get player from character tool.parent. Right? And then once we get the player, what we need to say is player.leaderstats.donuts.value equals player.leaderstats. Donuts value plus donut info dot donuts. Then await donut info dot cooldown and then db equals false. So this should work. If it doesn't, we'll just figure what doesn't work. It fix it. It happens all the time in scripting. It doesn't matter if you've been scripting for 30 years you're still going to have errors like 70% of the time you're always going to have errors because nothing you do in scripting is ever done or almost never done exactly the same way you're almost always working with new stuff so you're almost always going to encounter issues or new problems or stuff you haven't run into before so just wait for this to load Takes a while to load here. Also, let me know in the comment section below um, what you want to see in the next part and special features you would like to see in this series and also about video length if you like the length of this video, about how long you would want each part to go, stuff like that. So, as you can see now, when we click, our donuts go up. However, the cooldown isn't working, which is a bit odd. Let's go check what's wrong with that. I mean, it just entered small value wrong, but other than the cooldown not working, it's giving us our donuts, which is good. Okay, yeah, so up here, where it says a local db equals false needs to be above the part where it says tool activated. So this is the script right here. Stop and look at this. Pause the video right now if you need to. Make sure you have this down. I'm gonna rename this script handler. I'm gonna rename this script data stores. You always want to make sure you're naming your scripts so you know what's what, so you don't get confused. Let's just test it one more time to make sure that our um, donut works and the cooldown works with it. Takes a little bit to load. Have any suggestions for other videos you would like to see me do on this channel now that I'm trying to come back? Leave those in the comment section down below as well because one of the main reasons I stopped uploading for a while is that I couldn't think of what I wanted to upload or more video ideas. So if you have any, anything you want to learn how to do um, that you need more info on how to do, or if you just want to watch me do something regardless of whether you already know how to do it or not, leave that down in the comments below. Yep, so as you can see now, I'm clicking, and whenever I click, with a one second cooldown, we get donuts, which is good. So, that's going to be it for this part, and part two, I'm going to be, obviously, changing my donut. Well, when you come back, you're going to see the donut will look like an actual donut. I'll be adding the sell ring, so you can sell your donuts for cash. 
Um, and then I will also start adding the GUI into the game. So we'll be doing GUI and cell ring in the next part. So make sure you turn post notifications on so you don't miss that. And join my Discord. The Discord link is in the description below. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next part.